Cue it. Cue it. Yeah. What? What'd you say? We're live. We're live. We're live. We're live right now. Yes, we are currently up. On Hello, Switch. one and all, to this TBA Smasher Pass me Grave edition. edition. <laughs> No one said you could drink at the Smasher Pass Grave Edition, Hewitt. No one has to. Oh, I mean, that's fair. Okay, so we're doing... They told me to do this, so I made a whole PowerPoint. I got I got a few pages here. Uh, 139 pages, so... Oh, boy. Let's, let's see what we can do. Anyway. Okay, so could, let's explain the rules. Well, I'm about to explain the rules, Hewitt. Or do you know the rules? And so do I, I. have my own rules. How it works, for oh, one. Oh my god, you actually made a PowerPoint with this? How it work. Don't interrupt me. I show picture. And we discuss Smash Pass. A picture. I revealed the correct answer. Now you might be wondering, why this guy? Why is he just grilling right there? What does he have to do with anything? Well, we're just here. We're just grilling. We're just having a, a not weird conversation about people that we would, are not people, but characters we find attractive or not attractive based on both inward and outward characteristics. We're just sitting here. We're just grilling, man. We're just grilling. Can you get down with that? Get down with that. That's right. I'm down with it. You better be. I, I, I you know, I wasn't going to put you in this, but the the executives told me I had to. Executives being you. I figured. Anyway, was, I figured the Claire movies. Was, I figured Claire was the executive. We're talking about evil on me now. What'd you say, Claire? I said, don't put that evil on me. I have to be the producer. Oh my god, I love Troll 2. Oh my now, god. Now, it's going to start off pretty easy, I think. Right? So we're going to just start off fairly easy. Mm. Alex Murphy, Robocop. Smash. He's too shy. He didn't show enough of his face. So that's a, that's a negative for you, not showing enough face. Yeah, that's that's a pass. It, it's, a smash. it's a smash for me, and I'll show up with Oreos. Why, why is it a smash? Because it's RoboCop. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, it's a pass for me. There's, I mean, he's a good family man. He has, He's a man of principles, but he's a cop. Like, I, I, I just... Have you done? <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't... I can't in good conscience, conscience, sleep with a cop, you know? But I mean, the, NW, ACAB, right? NWA had a whole song that started off with yeah. what you could do. Anyway, we're going to jump right into the next one. Uh, this one isn't really that original. I know, you know, you, you told me to try and look around for some things. So we're just going with Sam Phillips from the hit film Extra. That's a pass. A lot of different, uh, a lot of different looks for for one guy. I gotta say, just a few different. I mean, you know, the, he goes through a journey in the movie. The teeth, the teeth are a no. Yeah, I'm probably gonna give a pass. He uh, mm. he needs a better skincare regimen. Mm. Yeah, downward, downward, yeah uh, downward facing dog of fail. And, and we're unanimous. It is a pass for me. One, he left his family for three years. That's a that's a dick move. <laughs> Two, he was born again. He might be weird about religion. Now, I know what you're thinking. He was literally born again in the sense that he inseminated a woman and gave she gave birth to him as a human. But it's still kind of sort of the same thing. It's a distinction without a difference, if you ask me. Sorry, is this like some weird twist on Steven Universe? Yes. It's actually the prequel. Anyway, oh, okay. he doesn't respect women on the account of leaving eggs in her... Uh, in, in, in her basement for her to for them to hatch and then kill her so that's a pass in my book chris is like yeah, giving, a hard pass. chris is like make this is welcome to my powerpoint quite literally chris is the meme 
Peter Washington, <clears throat> Dawn of the Dead. Smash. 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 I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, he's a great friend. I mean, he keeps you honest as well. Like, he won't let you get away with any bullshit. He's insightful. When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. I mean, come on. Iconic line. And he'll fight for you. Smash. 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 Smash, smash. But how smash, though? All the smash. Probably they're the most smashed out of this list. Probably, honestly, she would smash us. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, this it's, is a give me. It's Ripley. It's Ripley. I mean, come on. Strong, independent woman who needs no man. We love that for her. Kills aliens with acid blood. That's that's fucking cool, man. And she has a jawline that can cut glass. I mean, you, you just iconic, iconic look. And she can pull off any look. She's just, I mean, you go through all the different alien movies. I mean, just look at her. She does, Amazing. Pull, off, she Amazing. does pull off a shaved head very well. Yeah. Oh, this is tough. They smash. David from Lost Boys. He's a predator, though. Can mm. fix him. No, you cannot. That's, <laughs> can Kiefer, that's Kiefer Sutherland. There is no fixing. <laughs> I, I'm, Haven't you seen 24? Yeah, there's still no fixing that. I, I, you know what? I'm going to pass because I'm not a fang banger. Okay. Wow. That, that was the dirtiest shit I've heard you say. <laughs> anyway, pass. And I have good reasons. He's a fuck boy. I mean, look at him. <laughs> Two? He lives in a cave. Where's his sense of priorities? And lastly, he's thinking about Michael. Let's be real here. The whole movie is a homoerotic movie. It's not really about Michael and whatever that chick's name is. It's about Michael and David and, and their lust for each other. But it, alas, it couldn't be because he's a fuck boy who lives in a cave. Now, here's the deal. If you if go back, go back. Oh. If you had okay. his if you had his friend that's played by Ted Theodore Logan, the answer might be different. The answer might be different because I feel like he was roped into everything. He just seemed like a he seemed like a sweet boy that got lost his way. Yeah, yeah. Literally a lost boy. Yep. But I'm Marla Singer. Oh can fix her. That's a smash. I, I, I'm, I can't fix her. I just want her to wreck everything for me. Well pass. That sounds like a smash. That's pass what, for that's, me. That's what I'm saying, is I I'm saying that because they there is no fixing her. It's just, are you there for the Doctor Strange Love Rocket ride? She's a smoker. That's bad for you. I mean, COPD, lung cancer, uh, cardiovascular disease. So many bad things. Uh, she's a bit self-destructive. And not in like, I, I don't think I can fix her. I'll be honest, I'm already broken. I, I I don't know what I could do for her, you know. You gotta you gotta be honest with yourself. That's when, when you, you put your pieces work. together, together. So your broken pieces and her broken pieces make a whole, which is extremely toxic. That is extremely toxic. And what happens when the existential dread comes back, Hewitt? What are you going to do then? Uh, that's when you blow up the credit card unions. Oh oh, true. TV time. Who's is it, ready for some TV? Is that Hulahan? Yeah, that's Hulahan. Okay. Pass. Who's this? I'm passing. Jesus. Emily, Emily, oh, no, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. No, no, we pick up from here. <laughs> Hi, love. Emily. What? Emily. Ah. So the rules are, I show picture. 
you discuss Smash Pass, I reveal the correct answer. Or just a couple of dudes around the grill discussing this. Okay. Anyway, it's Hannibal Lecter right now. Pass. Pass. Did Claire. everyone give the answer? I don't know if everyone gave Claire, the answer. Claire is oddly silent. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say pass, too. He seems uh, rather stuck up. He eats people. I mean, that I can he's, forgive, but he's, he's got to have full, a good personality. He's fully in love with the one other dude in the show anyway, so. Graham. Graham, yeah. Probably. Can, but can, Smash. Can, cannibalism is a, is, a, yeah. is a deal breaker for me. Yeah, I don't know. He's off. a great cook. God damn it. God damn it, Chris. He knows how to listen. Therapist. A little dangerous. Just a little bit. But he has a good job and he's stable. He doesn't live in a cave like a fuckboy. Not mentally. Well, I don't think he lives in a cave mentally. Wait, what? What are we talking mm. about? Stable. Anyway, Neelix. That's a pass. He can cook. Bash. I know nothing about Voyager. I'm just going on that hairstyle alone. I like Neelix. If we want, like, smash, but, like, cuddles. Yeah. He looks like a good snuggler. Getting beer with. Hanging out. Pass. I don't like Star Trek. <laughs> I don't know who this is. I don't care. He's the cook on Voyager. I'm having anyway, Aryan son of Farscape. That's a smash. I don't know who this is either. I'm just going off of the picture of her holding a machine gun. That's actually all PVC pipe. You know what? Oh, with a pass. I don't know who that is. Pass. Smash. She's cool. She's awesome. And Farscape is better than Star Trek, which is boring. And yet there's so much more of it. You don't... It, it's quality, not quantity. Uh-huh. Quality, not quantity. Jim Henson. This is a twofer. Question, same time? However you like. Scully, smash... Molder pass. Mm. Say uh, smash on both. I'm with Claire. The smoldering eyes. I think David Duchovny should. Yes. Play. I agree. Smash. They're both smart and inquisitive. They work great together. And you know what that means. They know how to solve a crime. And they're the only good feds. I mean, they fight the system <laughs> within the system. So anyway, moving on. Angel. Ah! You're, you're talking about fuckboys earlier? I'm passing. If Spike's an option, pass. <laughs> if not, smash. The uh, the coat's too weird for me. It's like an awkward link. He looks like he's, he he looks like an extra from Doctor Who in that right hand picture. He kind of is, but he creeped on Buffy when she was fifteen. He was two hundred and forty four. Gross. That's actually in the show, by the way. To, uses trauma to manipulate people and doesn't even realize it. What an asshole. He will turn into a bloodthirsty killer if you sleep with him. So, I mean, right there. That's kind of the line, right? Yeah, David Boreanaz voice of Squall in Kingdom Hearts 1, though, so. Oh, that's cool. That gets points for me. Hmm. Yeah, but again, what did I Tyler say about... White. Smash. But it's, eh, it's, it's, it's kind of out of pity from the way the show ends. But, but Skylar's in the right. She is. She deserves better. She did. It's good that you said that, because Smash <laughs> she did nothing wrong. 
Walter doesn't deserve her. Fuck Walter White. We can get us canceled. Oh my god. Brian Cranston's gonna kick in your door and go, I agree with you. And ask if you want to watch Malcolm in the Middle. Anyway, video games. Oh god. Why why ugly Sonic? The teeth. I hope y'all are ready. You see, I actually didn't have a lot. It's just, it's 130 slides because it's a PowerPoint. I also didn't know how how quick we'd go through this, but... It's perfectly fine, dude. I know it's fine. I made it. Guinevere from Dark Souls. Definitely a smash. It was a smash. I'll go with it, but it looks like we just woke her up, so I feel kind of guilty. Pass. She's actually an illusion created by Gwendolyn, last born of Gwen. <clears throat> meant to trick you to light the first flame. That's not cool. Not cool at all. Are each of these a different slide that have the words pop up? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not have PowerPoint? He doesn't know how to PowerPoint. I do know how. I'm PowerPointing right now, aren't I? You don't need you to make you a different do it all. Slide. You can do it all in one slide. Yes. You're a slide. <laughs> we all learn PowerPoint in school, right? Who's the, who's the one PowerPointing right now? I, if we keep talking like this, like I'm going to have to deduct, deduct points. Someone's going to have to like not have a steak at the grill. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> Pan Am. From That's a smash. Cyberpunk. Yeah, I'm, smash. I'm, I'm going to join in on that one. It, it, so specifically, it's because it reminds me of a very specific drawing of Bulma that I thought was so cool, where she's in the mechanics outfit that uh, it's like one of the, the chapter title cards in the original Dragon Ball. I, I know exactly the one you're talking about. It's so cool, and this outfit reminds me of that outfit. That jacket is dope. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, smash. I also mm-hmm. like her hair. hundred percent ride or die. It takes no shit from anybody. She will like literally stop talking to you if you if you wrong her in the game, and I respect that. She's nomadic and loves camping. You can't go wrong with that. Grahatia from the hit game Final Fantasy fourteen. Um, I, I am not up until I, the point of Heaven's Word. I'm I'm not trying to be funny with this. Is that a dude or a woman? It's a guy. And it's uh, fine. That's Final Fantasy. Pass. I think it's a little too oo woo for me. Yeah. Uh, um, the, the ear. The ear. Is it ears or is it the hair? It's I'm, ears. He's. Nah. I, I'm passing because I'm not into the not Final Fantasy cat boys and girls. Usually I wouldn't be, but this not, is a not the bunny. Thing. The bunny people is one thing. The reason why it's a smash is because he's excited to hang out, but he's not clingy. He understands boundary. He's adventurous. He loves adventuring and reading and inventory. And he's a huge foodie. Love eating food. <laughs> Lots to talk about there. Remember, this game is free up into the point of heaven's word. Anyway, Lizel. Smash. Is there a safe word? Softly, the, she's so soft in the middle. You don't need a safe word. She's nice. I've never played the game. All I've ever seen of her is that I am very grumpy and I'm in charge and domineering things. I mean, she does I mean, that's that kind of how it really. Yeah, yeah. And that is kind of how Archibank's experience went with her. Yeah, but you know. I, I don't know her well enough, so I'm on pass. My question. Smash. I'm, my question still stands. Okay, okay. Well, let me go back, Hewitt. What was your question? Is there a safe word? You just have to take that risk. Then I will pass. Smash. Hey, come on. Smash. She's a dumb idiot cool lady. It, like, And I mean that in the coolest way possible. 
she's actually really complex and interesting. And also, anyway, bruh, <laughs> smash, 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 smash. That's my boy. See, Hewitt, I told you people like Gail. It's a pass. He can take that hair back to the 80s where he can be a backup dancer for Wham again. No, smash. Man, he reminds me of my husband. Moose is, oh, that's fair, Moose that's fair. is, Moose is, way, Moose is way better looking and has better tattoos. And I mean, Mo- this is true, but and Moose I take what I can get. And Moose doesn't eat your shoes. I mean... Anyway, pass. Bruh! <laughs> Invades your personal space. Overshares. Like, I don't want to know about everything that's happening with you. Like, five hours into the game, okay? I just met you, and you're talking to me about Mistra and how you have a bomb in your chest, which, by the way, he'll explode like a nuke if he dies. What a fucking asshole. Why did I want you in my party if you're going to do that? It's like, he really is like my husband. Only it's not a bomb, it's a bean burrito. Yes, accurate. What are you doing, Artax? Oh, we discovered that laxative. Uh, apparently, moose is too strong for laxatives. Oh lord! Oh, god. He took them three days in a row, and nothing happened. Oh god! Oh jeez! Oh, <laughs> Please tell me when he was on the plane to go up to Ohio, it didn't all hit. No, it never hit. He waited for like a whole week, and nothing happened. What is wrong with your husband's guts? I thought I mine know. Were, I thought my husbands were bad. Ugh. Moose has like the inverse of my guts. Jesus. Moose has a literal iron stomach. Sorry for derailing, Topher. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Your husband matters. This is Andrew Ryan from Bible. Pass. 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 Exactly. Pat, I'm glad this is unanimous. Fuck this guy. Built an underwater city. That's not practical. He's a libertarian. (laughs) How did you spell practical? I spelt it exactly how it should be spelled. (laughs) God. Just look at him, though. <laughs> he looks like someone ordered Vincent. Okay, Price I was looking Wish. down when that popped up, and for a split second, I was like, "Why did Chris just put Hitler on here?" <laughs> oh my god! It's I like. I, I just. I got like a uh, like a, a top vision I just mean, out of my eye. I was I like, mean, "What?" And I looked. Okay, that's not. Look, it would be smashing Hitler in a different way. I like him. Haiti, Aphrodite from Hades. Smash. 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 I love the pink hair. Of course. Duh. The normal no design. <laughs> like, Not I've the been fixed hearing one. hearing about this discourse. Fuck the discourse. She's beautiful. <laughs> okay, Chris, beautiful. Take, all, take all the words off. Take all the words off. Oh, my God. That, let me... Let me I don't think you can. Ugh. Uh. Okay, I'm going to say this. There is nothing in this image that needs to be fixed. Like, I don't live on the internet. Chris brought this to my attention. There are some little dwee boys that need to actually grow up. There's a, a lot of little dwee boys that are poisoned by anime and have questionable views on age of consent. So like, you, you that, mean, that's a woman. You mean it's like, they're libertarians. They're libertarians. We got to go back. We got to go back. <laughs> these guys. <laughs> I, anyway, I, yeah. I, I don't. I don't get why they're so hurt by this. I don't. They're retroactively hurt because this this image right here, the one on the right, came out in like 2019, 2020 when, when Hades, Hades one came. They're retroactively getting mad at this image. They're only mad because uh, Hades 2 came out or is in early access and one of the characters, uh, Hephaestia? Hestia. Hestia doesn't look like that. Is it wrong to pick a Hestia. girl in the, in the dungeon? Yeah, it doesn't look like a child. Hestia is abuse. the goddess of the hearth and like the home. And she she lo- the, she, car- the Hades design looks like she someone lo- that would... She, she's covered in soot and she has candles. Yeah. Like Does she have like the really cool does. cauldron thing or something. Yeah, she yeah, also yeah. has like a weird. She was like, super cool. Her her uh, she has like a bustle as well. 
but it's on the outside, so it's just this iron ribbed around her her toga. It looks like, really cool. Like they said on the Discord with Aphrodite, like yeah, the only the, 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 like the, like her nose and eyebrows kind of make me think of the Gerudo from uh, Legend of Zelda, and it's not even that close. And they also got mad at Hephaestus being in a wheelchair. The god that is the god that's yeah. always been, you know, handicapped. <laughs> Yeah, his the, his the other, guy with the clubbed foot. Yeah, to to put it another way, his other name is the crippled god. It's the same kind of people that are mad about that are mad about wheelchairs in D anD. d Anyway, yeah, they, they're this guy. They're him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Alibaba, Walt Disney. Oh my god! Leon Kennedy, Smash, Smash, Pass. I don't like pretty boys. It's, it's it's Matt Mercer. No, this one isn't Matt. Mercer. I look too similar for Matt he's, Mercer to be attracted okay. to Matt Mercer. He's voiced by Matt now. Is he? I yeah. thought yeah. he was only done in six, not in the new ones. I don't know. Anyway, pass. Y'all should know this by now. He's a cop. Why would we date a cop? I don't say I date him. Why would I? Fair. Date? That's true. That's true. Maybe I, maybe I can make exceptions. Stop. Are you going to have to do a uh, bonk I, Mary Chris, kill at some point? Chris, if Shao Tucker is in this, I swear <laughs> I'm coming to your house and beating you with a bat. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a family man. You're in the other room. I can reach you right now. What were you saying, Claire? <laughs> I was Nothing. being threatened. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Alucard. How dare you? Mm. How dare you, PowerPoint? Mm, no, he's I, he's too scary. I think your PowerPoint fast. is too strong. Uh, it's too strong to exist. I, I'm gonna pass out of sheer terror. He's he's scary. Wait, wait. Yeah, pass for me as well. Uh, What's supposed to be in the box? Idea. Unless. I am also extremely prejudiced against that type of glasses. <laughs> but I wear round sunglasses because they fit my face better. Extremely prejudiced. Extreme prejudice against round sunglasses. D do you want the anyway? Alucard. That that one's smash. Mm, he has way too many daddy issues. Why? Why is there like boxes? What are these boxes it's, supposed to be? It's because nothing. It's not loading right. The picture didn't load up. It's a pass for me because again, daddy issues and also he, he pretty he acts like a sixteen year old. The lower left hand picture though really makes him look like a slightly male version of Lady Amalthea, aka the last unicorn. Yeah, a little bit. And I'm kind of digging it. He is, it makes me think of a uh, Vampire Hunter D, but. I'm going to say Smash. Here's the deal. Is if Chris got the version of him from Symphony of the Night, not from the newest anime, my answer might be different. Anyway, Smash. He's super intelligent. I like that. He's a man of principle, I think. I haven't finished the series yet. But he is super stylish. Valid. And... and I, I can't help a guy that's like, you know, dressed super stylish. Smash. Anyway. 100% smash. Now, uh, this, yeah. this is specifically the Aragorn from yes. the 1978 version. I know what I doesn't, said. The doesn't Rohirrim. change my answer. Smash. The beacon of Gondor has been lit. The Rohirrim will ride. I'm confused by the garment choice. He's That's the because tunic. they were rotoscoping and it was easy. That's smash. That I'll give a, it to peer that, pressure. That, that is a Texas F size F belt buckle, F by the way. He, he just kind of looks like Anton from No Country for Old Men. Oh no, why you gotta ruin it? I mean, that's the I mean, look at Strider. Oh, no. <laughs> See, Strider's what, 80 years old? <laughs> now, if you put the up cut. If, you put, if you put up Emily's boy, Vigo Mortensen, you would have heard her yelling. But what I was mean, the guy that did the rotoscope for him, like, uh, Native American? Yeah, so Strider was originally Native American. Oh, that's cool. 
L. Oh, this is such a... He's, he's ace. He's ace. I couldn't do he that. He is. It's a pass. He's ace. I want to eat cake with him. Like, no innuendo. I just want to eat cake. I want to be in him. the. I want to be in the room when I, he does a round. He has the he has the money to get the best cake. There, he had. Okay, fangirls will argue he's in delight, but. I would have pass, but I want to be friends. I want to hear him rant because I feel like I'd be smarter at the end of it. But it's a pass because he's he's ace. I don't want to make him do anything. Maybe not straight up said, but yeah, he did. What say you, Claire? It's mo mostly just because I don't actually know who L is, so yeah, it's a pass for me. Ah, I I, like Death I do know, Note. but I don't, I don't, I don't follow the series. I love Death Note so much. Eats too much sugar. Again, like it's a real problem with some of the people on this list. They just don't take care of them. Guineas are real. I wish I could eat that much sugar and be that skinny. Sits on things weird. Isn't considerate of other people's furniture and may develop back problems. I should know. I used like to be the same way. You I, I wasn't going to say anything, but I was thinking it. You still don't <laughs> sit in chairs right. You know what? Just because I'm almost 40 doesn't mean I can't sit in chairs wrong. Is obsessed with work. No time for anyone. That's all fair. Mm. Yeah, I'm with Claire. Past ch childhood, no, it's weird. But, but he Past. has, a, but he has a party in the back, and it's business up front for the. Yeah, planet. the mullet doesn't help. Uh, uh, mullet, look. the mullet like sells it. What do you mean it doesn't mm -hmm. help? Uh, it's, uh, it's a uh, mullet into a flat look, top. Look, I'm just gonna say this: you have to get five teenagers in order to summon him, which is very awkward. You only ever see him on the job. <laughs> and also, I agree the mullet's pretty corny. Sorry. <laughs> Smash. Smash. Oh my god, if Moose was here. <laughs> She's terrifying, but... Okay, again, much like I said with Ripley, she does the smashing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a smash. Pass. Fuck you. Ha ha ha, just kidding. Smash. <laughs> I'm saying she could have come <laughs> out that screen and beat you up. <laughs> One anyway, my, one of my favorite omakis from the end of a uh, Full Metal Alchemist is when Edward Elric can't figure out the two of them are related, and then Armstrong goes, "Can't you tell? We have a very striking family feature that is similar: large, prod or prodigious chests." <laughs> <laughs> and it's just Armstrong doing a man booby dance. <laughs> anyway, congratulations, you win. You we win. win. I'm sorry. This you slide, this slide right here, dude, is like the slide that is at the end of every teaching seminar I've ever I was been at. just about to say it's like the freaking training I had to do when I got hired at the college. It's great. I'm glad I could bring in some nostalgia for you. Oh, this is you fun. get a gold star, which is not fair. Damn it! <laughs> oh no. How will, we ever, how, how will we ever know that we actually succeeded? You won't. Where's the the last slide? Oh no, the last slide is gone. Chris doesn't oh, know how to PowerPoint. Ah, oh, what's going on? The oh whole... God, in the stream. <laughs> Everything oh, no. is it's collapsing like the end of the. Uh... Wait, so we're actually. Uh... So we could actually. Shut up. Shut up. You need to shut up. I'll beat you up. Anyway. Anyway, Emily. Emily, yeah. since you're here, we can get your opinions on some of the other ones. Okay. See, cool. this is right. the slide I did. Chris, you know. your spelling is killing me. Look, look show picture. Pick, Discuss pick, Smash or Pass. Pick country. The, the S is silent. The S is silent here, okay? <laughs> that would just be correct. God damn it. Anyway, Alex Murphy. There's not enough left of him. Pass. Yes, yes, yes. He's a cop. Pass. Uh, this guy. I, I didn't Google his name. Pass. Pass. Good job. Good job. Good job. Sam Washington. Uh, Peter Washington. Uh, 
the smash. Man, you're you're three for three. Smash. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Mm, pass. Be scary. Look at that. Look at that. The fuck boy. The fuck boy energy. Uh, mm. Mm. Uh, crap. Uh. She was. Where is my mind? Where is my mind? I'm gonna beat you up. Just uh, punch you in the head. I'm not gonna hmm. punch you in the head. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna say pass. Good, 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 good. TV time. We. Did you do this one? Yeah, you did, Hannibal. This is where I came in. This is where you came in. Okay. Yeah, so thank you everybody for joining the Smasher Pass and, and seeing my incredible. Not made wrong, excellent spelling, PowerPoint, smash or pass. Congratulations, Shinji. Oh, God. Let's go, and you better end the stream. No, oh, we're, God. we're still on. Thank you, thank you everybody, for watching. Oh, oh, no. Chris, I've already taken that off. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, That's thank it. you, everybody, for watching and listening. Hope you enjoyed this silliness. Uh, we are Team Bonus Action. You can find us usually playing Mondays, but we got a few people out. Uh, you will, We usually also play every other Wednesday, and we play every Sunday. Uh, we sometimes have podcasts, and uh, we are a charity D&D slash tabletop streaming group. I think right now we're currently partnered with St. Jude, right? Yeah, one of those. Yeah, I believe it's St. Jude. The charity cleric that is here. We're, is it yes, I believe so. Okay, St. Jude. Uh, you can find us at teambonusaction.com, created by Frecky V, who is here with us. Uh, you can also find us as Team Bonus Action on Facebook, Instagram, Blue Skies Threads, and uh, find us at bonus underscore team on Twitter. Chris and I also do a podcast that uploads every Tuesday uh, known as Backwoods Obscura that talks about and talks trash on the supernatural events that are in the area around us and maybe in your backyard. And hey guys, since this Knox is not here, uh, don't, don't let me don't let you meet love. We did it. Thank you for tuning in to another bonus roundtable podcast brought to you by Team Bonus Action. If you'd like to find more out about us, you can go to our website at teambonusaction.com or you can check us out on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube as Team Bonus Action or on Twitter at bonus underscore team. And since Knox is not here, don't let your meat loaf.